Hi everyone, it's Tara. I just wanted to pop in real quick and share a small Michaels haul. Um, I'm blaming this one completely on Miss Erica, who is Scrap Diva 29. I saw one of her videos yesterday and she shared some Jesse James beads that she had picked up at Michaels and they were 50% off, so I had to go in and see what I could find. Um, and I wouldn't normally do this video, but I found this sweet mint paper pad that I hadn't heard of before. Um, or seen on video, not saying that no one has shown it, but I just haven't seen it um, because you know you can't watch every single haul video. So I wanted to share this collection with you um, in case you haven't seen it either. Uh, it was a hot buy, so it was five dollars, which is always a good deal. All right, so let me flip through this real quick. I fell in love with the turquoise because that's like one of my favorite colors and also the gold of course so this one has some really cute cutouts I don't know if I would pay more than five dollars for this honestly or five ninety nine even I wouldn't pay more than five ninety nine I know that's the price sometimes but this happened just happened to be on sale for five dollars but I don't know if I'd pay that because some of the prints I just don't like but for five dollars I mean it's worth it to me So I finally got my Echo Park The Story of Christmas paper pad in, or paper collection in. So I will share that with you guys um, once I'm finished filming this. I'll do that and hopefully have it uploaded today. I love this one. I thought that's cute too. This one's cute too. And this one. And then this last sheet here. I can't really think of anything else to do with it besides um, cutting it down and putting it in a frame. I think that would be a cute idea. Uh, so I might go to the Dollar Tree and get a frame and spray paint it gold and then. Uh, put this in the frame and and maybe add some bling pieces to it to bling it up and just have it as a a framed piece in my craft area. So yeah, so that is the Sweet Mint by Craftsmith and I think it's really cute. Again, five bucks, not a bad deal. And then I also picked up this uh, gold foil card and envelope set and again this is also a hot buy so it was five dollars and um, I pulled them out because there was a lady standing next to me in the store and she was like oh I want the pack that you got that has the love on the front and I was like well I think that they're all the same um, except for they just switch out you know the front cards but I'm pretty sure all the patterns are the same so th these are the ones you get this one here um, I'm thinking maybe I'll use this as a um, for my die cuts, so because it's just that gold foiling. So it has some really cute prints on here, and then that one. All right, so I'll be right back and I will show you the jewelry stuff because I want to show you that up close. All right, so I got these Charm Along alphabet charms because I'm thinking about doing something with them in a pocket letter. These were 50% off, so they were 250. This brand, this Pemberley line, was also 50% off. So these were also $2.50, I believe. And I'm going to use these in a pocket letter. I think I'm going to put a quote or something down in there. And then all of their clearance stuff was an additional 50% off. So this really cute blinged out feather was $0.50. Cents. And then this Fleur de Lis, I'm also going to use this in a pocket letter. And this was $0.75. Cents. And it's all blinged out and pretty. Uh, I got these as well for 75 cents. And then I got some of this uh, 24 gauge wire in gold. 
Um, I was looking for 22 because that's the size that I used when I made the knotted head pins, but they didn't have 22, so I'm going to try 24 out and see if I like it. And then all of their uh, ready-made bracelets were 50% off. Um, so these were $1.99, and I'm thinking about putting this in a pocket letter, but I'm not sure if it's going to fit. It might be a little bit too bulky, so if I if that doesn't work, I might just wrap it around the pocket letter. But then again, I don't know how. Um, I don't know how that's gonna work either. But I'm gonna do something with it because I thought it was pretty, and I'm in a, like a glammed out themed pocket letter, so I thought that would work. And then same here, a um, dollar ninety nine, and I'm gonna cut this apart because you get a ton of beads on here, really pretty rondelles. And also those rhinestones, um, I like how they have like the hole in it, so I'm going to try to do something with that. We'll see how it goes, but for $1.99, I thought that was a great deal for all of those beads. And then what I went in for was the Jesse James beads, and these were uh, $4. And I thought they were really cute, but honestly, I like the beads from... I like the Jesse James beads from Joann's uh, better. I think they have a bigger selection and I don't know, I just like them better. But these are cute. I'm thinking Christmas for these. And also this strand. Really pretty. And then I fell in love with these purple beads. I really like the blinginess of it and I love this one here with this caged uh, pearl here. Really cute. And then lastly these brown and like gold beads and I am planning on making a charm out of this and I think that the color that I'm trying to match it up with will work especially this one. So I don't know we'll see but I'm thinking that will work. So that is my haul, you guys. Very small, but pretty good, I think. So um, I'll be back and I'll share with you that Echo Park Story of Christmas paper collection. Um, but until then, I hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.